Hark now, cometh thee hither, gather, listeneth, and learneth from a reading of the sacred Ten Commandments of the Gunnery. Law the first, thou shalt espouseth the accepted ideology. Thou shalt not considereth said ideology with reference whatsoever to the elucidative faculties of reason, logic, nor the common sense of things. Thou shalt spurneth such faculties as one would spurn a rabid dog, and insist ever more steadfastly, dogmatically, and repeatedly upon the ideology. Should any person proffer a view antithetical to the ideology, thou shalt ignore all such heretical articles of reason or logic, which after all are witchcraft. And in its stead, thou shalt repeateth the accepted ideology ever more doggedly, and also at an ever higher pitch on every occasion. Lo, it be the repetition of the canon which make it correct, despite all articles which make heretical claim otherwise, irrespective of the veracity thereof, or any matter of actual fact or reality. Law the second, thou shalt hold sacred the blessed hierarchy of evidence. Thou shalt not considereth that no objective empirical measurement of the goodness of evidence be made under its tenets. Under no circumstances shalt thou considereth that given the lack of such, the hierarchy itself be an opinion, and as such, not a good form of evidence according to its own dictates. If this devastation be wrought upon your utterances by a heretic or witch, Thou shalt respondeth according to law the first, not forgetting to addeth the sacred and magical incantations of the invulnerable personal incredulity fallacy, as brought down from the mountain for thee by the Saint Dunning and the Saint Kruger. Law the third, thou shalt resolutely demandeth that the blessed canon of the science of epididly doodly middly moodly mology make fast and robust your sacred ideology. Under no circumstances are you permitted to remotely consider this attitude a fallacy, for it is canon. Any creature uttering antithetical heresy is a witch. Thou must spurn the heretical notion that coincidental happenings are not related by causality. Logic and reason, a witchcraft, fall not under this influence, lest thou too become a witch. Thou shalt fend off this heresy and witchcraft by repetition of the sacred propaganda. Forgettest thou not that thou must laugh maniacally and be personally incredulous, as well as also offended, for your offence to the witchcraft of statistical logic and reason, maketh you holy and pious. Law the fourth. Only the beast killed and eaten by the heathen heretics and witches are important. You are pious, holy, and above reproach. The beasts your food husbandry and cultivation killeth are an illusion. They existeth not. Not eating the dead maketh them not dead, and undoeth the reality that these dead creatures are in fact still dead. Thou art not a hypocrite, for the repetition of the sacred incantations of fantasy, delusion, and dissonance protect thee from the foul stench of objective and demonstrable reality. Projection is divine, as is arrogance, ignorance, and self-determined moral superiority. Law the fifth. Consensus maketh your canon invulnerable to inspection for veracity. 
looketh not any further for actual truth, for that is witchcraft. Appeal to the authority of consensus for protection from the witchcraft. Forgetteth not, thou must repeateth the sacred ideology over and over evermore, and in a tone still more shrill than previously. Law the Sixth The looking glass is a foul and deceptive liar. It is a witch. Thou art not skeletal, thou art not weak and poorly, thy skin is not drained and ashen in pallor. Your eyes sink not into your skull. Thou art manly, robust, and have the neck of an oxen. Law the Seventh Pigs are not the staple in Okinawa. Okinawans do not differ from their mainland cousins in any way other than not eating pigs. Did I mention it, that they eat pigs not? Okinawans are not more active than their mainland cousins. They do not use less technology. They do not have better social structures and less stress. Most of all, they eat pigs not. Any heretic providing evidence that they do in fact eat pigs is a witch. Also, see Law the First and apply it steadfastly. Law the Eighth Thou shalt claim that the science is settled. Under no circumstances shalt thou considereth that questioning the science is the accepted methodology by which science is undertaken. Thou shalt demand that the accepted narrative is not up for debate. Thou shalt insist upon thy pile of evidence, despite having one not. Thou shalt again refer to Law the First. Law the Ninth Thou shalt winneth points by citing the title of a paper. Thou shalt not actually read it. Neither shalt thou critically assess its claims, its tenets, nor acknowledge any inherent bias, unless such bias be unsuitable to your sacred ideology, in which case it be heresy and witchcraft. Again, thou art a hypocrite not. Thou art morally superior. Logic and reason, also objective reality and balance, are witchcraft most foul. Law the Tenth Thy disintegrating health is due to thy failure to do vagunary correctly. Thou never were a vagoon anyway. It is about health not. It is about the beasts, but not the ones you killed, remembereth? For those ones don't count as your above reproach. Again refereth thyself to law the first. So endeth the reading of the Ten Commandments of the Goonery. Go forth, enjoy.